Good day, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Harris McSheffrey Music. Now, for a different direction, I was asked by one of my peeps to make ringtone just with stove beeps. And <laughs> this one's going to be called Stove Beeps for Pete. <laughs> now, I'm going to see how many different sounds can I get out of stove beeps. Here. I know, that sounds like a weird title. Okay. Back to Stove Beeps for Pete. So, around that point where it's, it should be... Okay. Oh, forgot to turn the tune off so it just doesn't make it sound like a lot of time. No order is play, note rate, I'm going to go uh, four off, just because why not? No order, random, let's go random, why not? So let's go, see what that sounds like. Let's do lumbar one, just be weird. Okay, lumbar's. I'll just be weird, but I'll just say, eh, let's go 11 bars. Okay, 11 bars of weirdness. Octave range, four octaves.
So one was a PA minor pentatonic sort of stove beep. One was a B5 power chord stove beep. And one was a flat major stove beep. One was an E major stove beep. So. So I wrote 14, 6, eh, what the heck, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, <laughs> oh, you gotta check this out. <laughs> oh. Imagine laughing at this. Let me try it. too bright, it won't show up very well, but here it is. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. I'm just gonna spitball this one. So what about the session so far? Now I've got the stove beat, so I just can't even imagine these probably right now, but I got a beat spitball melody, or pseudo melody, eh, should I say, and I'm going to paste another one. Eh. Paste. Well, let's see how many bars we have to work with. Okay. Eleven bars, okay. Well, eight bars, okay, we got ourselves. Distorted, so bullhorn. Yeah, you bet. I'm gonna go with the bullhorn sound. Oh, turn the crunch up. See what that sounds sound like. Here it is, I'm not going to show the screen. Cause... <laughs> Sounds pretty good to my ears. Anyway. 
So it was a long journey, but it was worth it. So in a nutshell, what I did was I first created some arpeggiator runs of different chords in different tracks on the stove beat sound. Then I put a melody on top of that. And to make my melody, I just made the melody in a different project so I can hear it itself. Have no idea how it was going to sound against the backdrop. Then I exported it to the back the melody as a ringtone, or the pseudo melody, I should say. Then I went ahead and took that what the computer thinks was a ringtone and subjected it to different effects. Such as the dreamy sound, the monster sound, and the bullhorn sound, which I think was the distortion effect. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And keep on tuning in for more adventures like this and more. Thank you. Harrison Sheffrey Music.